Hi everyone, it is, it is March 19 already, March 19. Doesn't it feel like it was New Year's just yesterday? I can't believe how quickly this uh, year is flying by, but hey, time flies when you're having a good time, right? Support for Trump, 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 support for Trump dwindles among ICE officers. Oh boy, are we being played and people can't see the play. So many Trump supporters, you want to argue with me? You want to tell me, oh, well, you're using mainstream media resources and they all lie and you know it, so I can't believe it. You must be part of the agenda. No. You think this is not happening? Then find some sources present the evidence that this is not happening. ICE officers who endorsed President Trump in 2016 now say he has failed to follow through on his get tough promises, saying catch and release of immigrants living illegally in the United States is not only still happening, but has gone into overdrive. In a letter, the ICE Council said its president, Chris Crane, personally told Mr. Trump about the situation in January, in a January meeting, and the council was disappointed. Nothing has been done. You frequently speak publicly of the great public safety work ICE is doing under their leadership. To be direct, Mr. President, the rhetoric doesn't match reality, and we hope that this letter shows you the complete and total nonsense that is really taking place under the Trump administration on the southern border. Catch and release is on overdrive. Catch and release. Mr. Trump took office promising to stop it. Instead, the rate has increased. Why aren't we deporting illegal aliens who already have deportation orders. Nothing can be done to block bogus asylum seekers from entering our country en masse. Really? Well, there was a time we enforced our immigration laws and that was fine. We don't enforce our illegal uh, or our immigration laws, neither does Trump. He lies to you over and over. Why is the Department of Homeland Security not at least deporting those who already went through this tedious process and have been ordered to be deported? Doing so would not only eliminate public charge and potential gang members and drug runners for MS-13, it would deter the current and future wave waiting at the conveyor belt through Mexico from making the trip north. New data obtained by the Immigration Reform Law Institute via a FOIA request, a um, Freedom of Information Act request, there are 644 1,488 illegal aliens remaining in our country who have already been served final deportation orders. And those are just from the top four countries of origin, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, and Mexico. The total number of illegal aliens who remain in this country despite final deportation orders, 1,009,550. There are roughly 1.1 million others from those four countries who have pending final orders and are close to receiving deportation orders, shouldn't there be a comprehensive effort to empower and direct ICE to begin deporting as many of these people as possible? Why isn't Trump doing that? No, you just continue to listen to this uh, insane, well, those who are in the insanity, call it a debate. I call it absurd, uh, uh, absurd, absurd theater put on 
by the actors and actresses in Washington, D.C. to get Americans all riled up for nothing. Because nothing ever happens. The entire reason why Central Americans are now coming in record numbers is because they know that even though their flawed asylum claims will ultimately be rejected, so long as they obtain entry and are released pending the court dates, they will not be deported. Oh, catch and release? That's something that's so easy for Trump to stop. Why hasn't he done it? Because you're being played. It is quite evident that if we begin deporting specifically the Central American families and teenagers, it will stop the flow of newcomers. When you know you can get in, when you know that you're going to be given a court date and then released in the United States, when you know so many just get that court date and never show up for it and nothing happens, why not come over the border? Are you tired of this? 1954, President Eisenhower directly and indirectly removed over one million illegal aliens in just a few months without any lawfare. Yet, we don't have the resources to remove the million with final deportation orders or the two million known criminal aliens. And why not both? Where there is a will, there is a way. Ah, yeah, okay. Easy things to do, we don't do them. Why? Because we're being taken over. And Trump is right alongside with those who want this country destroyed. Now, Pelosi, okay? This nut job. Democrats vote to give illegal immigrants the right to vote. We are prepared to open up the political process and let all of the people come in. <laughs> Representative John Lewis, who is hailed as, as the hero of the civil rights movement. Texas Republican Dan Crenshaw raged, it sounds like I'm making it up. What kind of government would cancel the vote of its own citizens and replace it with non-citizens? The insanity that is taking place in our country is so widespread and Americans I guess they just don't really think uh, too much about, you know, their country, the Constitution, anything, but their own little life and what they have. But they're not even protecting that because they see that, well, private property rights are being dismantled. They don't even fight for their own rights. Okay, so we've got a problem with the American people. But clearly... Americans just don't give a shit, you know, they haven't really, uh, they don't feel they need to do anything to protect anything. Um, yeah, I, yeah, the invasion come in just as long as you don't come on my property or come through my door. Just as long as I can continue living my comfortable life, never do I have to do anything to change. I get to just live out my life. And who gives a shit about other people's lives? But yeah, most Americans are like that. Sorry. Uh, yeah, Pelosi spoke on the importance of passing H.R. 1, the For the People Act. Uh, don't include me, Pelosi. And, well, I could venture to say, don't include the majority of the people in this country because they're so not with you on virtually anything because you're just a crazy nut job who I I failed to see how Californians could have voted you in over and over and over again. Um, you and Feinstein. Jesus. Whoa. Yeah, and I'm a former liberal progressive Democrat. Well, I never called myself a liberal progressive. Um, don't attach those labels, but 
if you saw me, you know, throughout my life, that was the social network that I was in. Well, these people have just gone bat shit crazy. The Democratic Party. Whoa. Yeah. Let illegal immigrants vote. Oh, and she talks so pretty. Oh, they reinvigorate our country. They're just so fabulous, you know. And you listen to this, and here she is, January 4, uh, with all of the Democrats behind her. And, yeah, Deborah. Ooh, Wasserman Schultz. You want to talk evil, sick, twisted, psychopathic nut job? This right here is the face of it. Deborah Wasserman Schultz. A lying sack of shit. Um, but all of these people, uh, you know, the, so H.R. 1, the For the People Act, to restore the voice of the American people, to weed out corruption, and then let illegal aliens vote. Oh, God. Do the American people even listen to these people anymore? It's frightening what has happened to this country. Frightening to see how low the American people are. And you listen to this, you know, she's there. Oh, God, talking all of the things that they're going to be doing. And they're going to be reducing uh, the, um, the amount of uh, health care costs and, and prescriptive um, medicines. And do you know how long you've been listening to that? That's been going on for decades, America. Decades. You listen to these people. And all they do is stand up and make a show saying, okay, we're going to pass this legislation. And then two years later, okay, we're going to pass this legislation. Oh, uh, two years later, okay, we're going to pass this legislation. Nothing ever happens and everything only gets worse. When are you going to give up the game now? I was introduced to this woman, um, Kayla, True Conservatives Minutes. And I was listening to her, and I'm like, yeah, I like this woman. I love her passion. I'm not crazy about your politics, okay? It's an awakening process, and there are a lot of people who are so awake to what is happening and I'm going to let you listen to just a, a little bit of this video. Click on the link below to listen to the uh, to this full live stream that she did. Um, there's a lot that, you know, she says that I don't necessarily agree with or I think she's got some facts wrong. Um, but the point is, is that doesn't matter. What she is talking about in this video is Americans need to stand together. Um, and we've got a war going on. We have an invasion going on and Americans are being killed in that war. So when you think about uh, all of the agendas, you think about the vaccines that have killed so many people and destroyed the health of a whopping number far more. You think about the frequencies and the use of these frequencies, cell towers, Gwen towers, smart meters, Wi-Fi, that are destroying our health. You think about uh, GMOs that are destroying people's health. And all of the geoengineering, the spraying, the aerosol spraying, the toxic chemicals, heavy metals, destroying people's health. are Americans so incapable of realizing that, yeah, genocide is taking place and Americans are dying and Americans should be really upset about what is taking place. The awake crowd, a whole lot of them, really don't care. Sorry, but it's the truth. So when you voice how you feel about what is taking place, and frankly, it's appropriate to be upset, to be angry. 
when you're surrounded by people who just don't care about anything and you're left alone in your pocket of isolation to watch all of this destruction. And I know that a lot of you identify with what I just said. But when you then finally see someone who is expressing in an appropriate manner, anger, you finally say, thank God, thank God. But we need more. We need more of this woman right here. Now, she is a conservative. Um, uh, she wants Trump to take action to, please, um, Kayla, you're not getting, you're really not getting that Trump is a part of the play. We've got to take ourselves out of the matrix and realize we are alone here. We are alone. Republicans and Democrats, together they unite as politicians. They keep you in this game that's going on. And the game has no results that are good for the American people. So listen to just a few minutes of what she has to say. Uh, briefly to uh, talk about uh, the seriousness of the housing crisis here in Los Angeles, California. Um, and let me interject here, and I apologize for stopping. Okay, so yesterday's video, apparently the videos that I was uh, showing you and playing uh, had that reverb going on, the echo chamber. I don't know why that happens. I don't do anything different. So sometimes it happens and sometimes it doesn't. It's not anything I control on my end. So I just set up everything as I always have and I played some of the video, um, you know, I captured it and I played it back and it sounded fine. Now when I post it on YouTube, I don't know what happens then. So if it has that reverb again, um, please uh, click on the link below and listen to her video directly. But it's not anything I can do. I apologize. Um, it just kind of happens when it happens. We have a big humanitarian state of emergency housing crisis here in uh, California. Um, hi, Mike. How are you? Uh, I just want to briefly uh, talk about uh, what is going on in Los Angeles, California. Hey, Belinda. How you doing? Uh, yeah, I'm doing a little short video here uh, because uh, there is a serious, serious, serious problem with uh, humanitarian emergency housing crisis here in Los Angeles, California. Um, I have been dealing with this for several, several years and um, I have been uh, dealing with and uh, working with several uh, homeless agencies, uh, Section 8 uh, agencies and other third party agencies that are trying to find um, homeless uh, citizens uh, a place to live. Uh, there is several problems that um, they are having. Uh, I be safe, I have friends here and they are scared. Um, well, we can't be scared because uh, we are fighting for the American people. Um, and one of the bigger problems, yes, is illegal immigrants uh, have basically came into the United States and they have allowed them to take over uh, housing and apartment and um, other, you know, condo properties uh, and, you know, housing illegal immigrants and have pushed out the American citizens. What I'm hearing from uh, of the housing agencies that I just uh, met with actually yesterday, um, there is a very, very, very bad crisis. They're actually looking for uh, people, uh, places, and they are having a hard time themselves. 
They are saying that the property management companies are refusing to uh, rent to homeless individuals, black Americans, and also they are refusing to take third-party uh, vouchers such as Section 8 and other uh, agencies that are assisting uh, homeless and low-income individuals with housing. So this is a state of emergency housing crisis in Los Angeles, California, across the board. Um, they are housing illegal immigrants who are taking properties from American families. They are pushing out American families onto the street. Americans should come first, not illegals from other countries. They are housing these people with the help of the Democrats, the state, the county, and the city. They are giving them money to, uh, pr you know, get into these properties. They are telling them that they need no documentation. They don't have to go through no credit check. They don't have to do any background check. So uh, they are basically caring for illegal immigrant families and pushing out the American people. Uh, the American people, if you call a uh, property management company or any other uh, apartment complex house uh, that's available for rent, they will tell you that if you're an American citizen, you have to go through a background check, you have to do uh, the credit check, you have to pay application fee, and you have to go through all this strenuous, uh, strenuous uh, rigmarole just to get into uh, a place. But they are not doing the same for illegal immigrant families. Um, Kayla, for all colors of America. Yes, I am for all colors of America. You are correct, Joan. Um, but when I see my own American people being forced out onto the street and cannot find a, a, a roof over their head for them and their children, I am going to stand up for the American people. This is about the American people opposed to illegal immigrants and foreign newcomers that have come into our country and have forced out the American people onto the street. This is what this is about. This has nothing to do with racism. This is about the American people because as well as there is a, a lot, a lot of blacks that are homeless uh, on Skid Row and all around uh, Los Angeles, there is also a rising increase of white Americans that are also homeless on the street. We are all being pushed out as Americans due to illegal immigration, mass migration from people from other countries. This is causing a problem in our country. People need to wake up, people need to stand up and acknowledge this fact because we all are going to die. If people aren't housed properly, they can't eat right, they can't take their medications right, they can't take a shower, they can't, they, they can't do a, a lot of things. And this is a humanitarian crisis when a human being, such as Americans, can't even get a proper roof over their head. That is against the U.S. Constitution. American people are to be housed. They are ignoring the fact that the American people have been pushed out. This is a humanitarian housing crisis across the board. HUD is paying for illegal immigrants that are coming into our country. When they give the federal dollars uh, to these states, these cities and counties, that money is going to house illegal immigrants and not American families. That is a huge problem and a huge disconnect within our federal system in regards to housing the American people. So, uh, yes, it's illegals versus Americans. You're, you're correct, Joan. This is a major issue and a major problem. American citizens cannot get proper housing. They are being forced out onto the street. This is unfair, this is unethical, and it should not be happening in our country. American citizens come first before any other country that comes or migrates into the United States, legally or illegally. I don't care. Americans come first, and the American people are being pushed out onto the street to die. 
This is a genocide. This is a humanitarian crisis. It's cold outside. It's raining. And it seems like no one cares that there are American people, including our veterans, that are out on the street homeless. We have elderly people that are out on the street homeless. These are American citizens. Okay, I am fighting for the American people that are is being pushed out in our own country as I see Hispanics, Asians, and other nationalities living lovely here in the United States. They have houses, they have cars, they have took over jobs. Just yesterday, I uh, spoke with a, a girl. She was an undocumented, uh, 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 legal alien, undocumented, however you want to call it, however you want to conceptualize it. She was an illegal immigrant. She drove for Uber for four years, okay? Then, now, she has a good, high-paying job working with the housing authority, which she's still illegal, but she has a good job. So these are the type of things that the American people are dealing with. The Democrats are the devils and they do not care about the American people and our American families that are suffering due to illegal immigration and mass migration within the United States. The Amer I just want to say the Republicans are no better. Trump is playing you. Catch and release continues. ICE can deport those with the final deportation orders and they're not doing it. Okay, so Kayla, love your passion. Please take a step outside the matrix and look at what the Republicans are doing as well. You know, there have been many times when the Republicans had the House and Senate during the Obama years. And they were, oh boy, that, that whole uh, Obamacare, and we're going to repeal it. And they had an opportunity to do so, and they didn't. Okay. Um, and she gets very passionate. Um, this is the kind of energy we need. We need people to stop thinking that anger is a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. When things are happening and you see the result of those things, injustice, suffering, uh, and it's widespread, anger is appropriate. When you see so many people who don't care about how many people are suffering. When you see that what is happening, all of these nut jobs in Washington, D.C., along with Trump, they're not taking what is really, these are not hard problems. Enforce immigration law like we used to. So when you recognize that, okay, a lot of these problems could be easily solved. Why aren't they? Because it's a deliberate agenda to destroy this country, to destroy Americans. And you see Americans getting destroyed over and over again, as we have throughout the years, just watching our YouTube videos. Think about all of the Nebraskans now suffering displaced, out of their homes, their farms destroyed, their livelihood destroyed. This destruction is taking, uh, well, so many different ways. There's varied, uh, various methods that they are using to destroy Americans, but it's going on every single day. And we can't even get ourselves in a position where we can organize to help one another. No, because we have to fight each other over over the most stupid of, of things you know I'm right with this I would stand right next to Kayla even though 
you know, she's still a Trump supporter because she is involved. She is somebody who's taking action. I've said this about Grindall, you know, uh, uh, when he was um, supporting Trump. That was in the very early days of, of the uh, Trump presidency. But he was able to see through. Yeah, but I said, I don't care. He is taking action. He is trying to um, stop an agenda. He's doing everything that he can. I would, it doesn't matter. As long as you're taking action to try to get, to try to alleviate, <laughs> you know, the suffering. And now, you can think about Trump and you can think, okay, well, if Trump just had a stronger voice and, you know, uh, put up that wall and whatever, okay, fine. But I don't have to argue with you about that. Um, yeah, I do recognize that uh, unless people step way outside the matrix and really take a good hard look at Okay, I get it. The Democrats are out front, the nutcases, um, proving that something is so grossly wrong in our country. When you listen to these nutcases, um, you know something is very wrong. And they show you the insanity every single day. The Republicans don't, you know, behave like the, I don't even know what to call these Democrats anymore, but they're a little bit more reserved, but they're not doing anything to fight back. Look, you know, the Republicans, the Democrats, they were voting for legislation that screwed Americans. They do it all the time. Republicans getting on board with gun control. So we've got to recognize we are on our own. And we also have to stand with one another, even though there are some who have not, um, you know, it is an awakening process, guys. And you know, the awake term is a misnomer. Nobody just, one day is awake. Ah, I see everything. You know, th this whole um, new world order, all of the agendas to implement this new world order, um, they're so intricate. They're so involved. They're so confusing. It takes a lot of time to research every single, you know, agenda. And I, I have... I have spent so much time researching this past decade and I still am not as awake as others are. So we also have to just be a little bit more patient or, you know, uh, with one another, but we can stand united. This woman is screaming and she's not screaming just for black people. She's screaming for Americans, Americans, and not just those who have been born in this country, but all of the Americans who are from other countries, uh, but they came here legally and they are now citizens. She is screaming for everyone, but she is really screaming the truth because what is she? Yeah, I'll let you listen to just a few more minutes of this. I'll link below to everything. But what this woman is saying is right on. Is right on. And thank you. Because we need more of you. We need more of you with this kind of passion. And it's clear to me this woman really cares. There's a difference between those who say they care and people who really care. And you can see it, you can hear it, you can feel it. We're in crisis. 
People are dying. And I guess the icing on the cake, you guys, for me was it's raining outside. It's been raining in California for the past week. Imagine how these homeless people are feeling right now. They can't eat. It's raining. It's cold. They can't take a shower. Put yourself in these people's shoes. Be a human being with a heart and a soul. Put yourself in these homeless people who are Americans' shoes. They're Americans. Put yourself in these people's shoes. We better get it right. They're killing us. Okay? Alright, guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm heated up today. Because I guess... I guess the icing on the cake was when I, I, I talked to the homeless agencies also yesterday. They were like, oh, they're, they're scared. I'm like, well, if y'all scared, the people don't have a leg to stand on. They're going to die. These people are going to die. So they're killing off the American people that are homeless on the street. And we're letting them. And this whites and blacks. These foreign people aren't homeless. These foreign people are living lovely and they got the jobs. I told you the, the girl from a, that was undocumented. Now she got a good job as a housing uh, in a housing agency. They're taking our jobs. They're in our federal government. They're in our city. They're in our states. They're in our county. We gotta do better, America. We're losing this country, and I'm gonna leave it at that. We are losing our country, and if we don't get it right, we're not gonna have an America. God bless all of our children. God bless them. Because we're losing. And I'm seeing it. And these foreign people that I've been talking to, they're telling me the same thing. They see it. They're afraid for this country. And when they talk, when they talking about, oh, they want to come over here for a better way, I'm tired of hearing that. I am tired of hearing that. How is it a better way? First of all, none of these countries have a war. If they have a pres president that is a dictator, guess what? They need to protest like they're protesting here in the United States. If they're talking about drugs, we have plenty of drugs and opiate crisis, okay? There's more children dying in opiate crisis here in the United States than anywhere in any other country. Okay? And then they want to talk about food, okay? They're killing us through our food. They're, they're tainting our food because we have allowed these foreigners to come in here and taint our food. There is no crisis in these other countries for these people to come over to the United States seeking a better way. The American people don't have a better way right now. We don't have a better way. We're homeless. We're dying. Our children are dying. There's no better way for the American people right now. So the nonsense of these people that are saying that they're coming over here in the United States for a better way, that's nonsense. The American people don't have a better way right now. Period. Yeah, fentanyl and also uh, Maryland, there's uh, another one, Flocka. They're killing us. That, that comes from China, Mexico, all them drugs coming in, in Germany. Put the ice on the cake in our uh, pharmaceutical industry. Put it all all together, all concocted together. They're killing the Americans. There's no better way for Americans right now. We are the third world country right now. Because that's what it's turning into. We have no better way. Mexico. Those people coming here should not be here. There's no war. These people coming from Germany, there's no war. These people coming from South and Central America, there is no war. Why are they migrating to the United States? They, these people aren't being killed. American people are being killed just as well as if they are being killed in their, their country. We have gangs. They have allowed the MS-13 to come into the United States and kill off the American people. They are dismembering bodies. They're chopping them up into pieces. And you say you come to this country for a better way? The American people are getting chopped up. This is not a better way for any other country to come to the United States. Period. Period. 
okay? But anyway. You can click on the link below. You can listen to the entire video. Um, if you think that what this woman is saying, oh, she's crazy or she's exaggerating, then you are someone who does not understand what is happening in our country. And you're someone who doesn't want to take it in because that reality is just too much for you. And you want to remain comfortable because if you think, oh my God, Americans are really suffering and, and we are at war and we are being invaded and Americans are being shafted uh, for illegal immigrants, uh, it, might, it might make you feel like you've got to do something if you have even just a tiny bit of a conscience. So instead, you're not going to take any of it in and you're going to claim that this woman is just a nut job and I don't have to listen to this. We've got a lot of Americans who do just that. We are in deep trouble. Deep trouble. And what's the root cause of that trouble? The American people. The American people who... prefer to just remain in their little dream. I've got a dream going in my mind. It's called delusion and it makes me feel good. So I'm going to live that and I'm just going to shut out everything that's happening to everybody else. Oh, I'm going to ignore all of the Americans who are dying, who are having their livelihoods destroyed. I'm going to just ignore them as more and more go off the cliff. Ciao, guys.